Good morning, modern steaders. It's another chilly morning on the homestead. 13 below zero. Oh, I can't wait for this cold snap to get over with. Next week we're supposed to be in the 40s in rain. So I don't know what that's going to look like. It's probably going to prove to be interesting with all the snow we have. Supposed to start warming up tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that. Good morning, Willow. You look like you stayed nice and warm. Today should be the last chilly day for a little while, anyways. Yeah. I bet you're gonna love it. Come on, Willow. No, come on. Go ahead, get in the stand. There you go. I'm looking forward for everything melting. Well, I shouldn't say everything. All the snow is not going to melt, but the chicken coop should start to thaw a little bit. I can go in there and clean everything out, clean their watering tire troughs out a little bit better and kind of pick up. Right now, being in the frozen tundra, you can't really clean up a lot of chicken poo that's frozen. It just, yeah, it doesn't happen. So it's going to be nice, we'll be able to get in there, get the coops cleaned up, and organize a little bit. Oh, Willow, you, I hope you're pregnant. I hope you're pregnant. Yeah. She's just about out of milk, man. It's like, give me the last drop. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, I need that for my coffee, Willow. My morning coffee just ain't going to be the same for a few months. Oh, man. Guys, you need to try this Nigerian Dwarf milk. It's so delicious. Oh. Alright. Is that enough for a cup of coffee? Okay, well, I'll thank you. I'll appreciate that tomorrow morning. It's not gonna be long. We'll feed the goats inside again today. I'm gonna shut the barn door till it warms up a little bit. There's the crazy cat keeping an eye on all of us. Good girl. Give him a little bit more grain this morning to warm them up. What do you think you're up to, mister, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Go ahead, get in. They're like, no, we're staying out today. All right. If they want to stay out, I'll let them. There, they can go in and out. You girls are pretty rugged. You must be used to this cold. You ready to go to New York City there, Pluto? Nope, we're going to the big city, Pluto. Pluto, this way, the big city. Twice a day, me and Pluto get to go to New York City. We have an awesome commute. <laughs> oh, this is my kind of city. I couldn't imagine commuting into like New York. I can't even say York now. New York City or Boston or, man, for those who do, I give you mad props. I couldn't do it. Did you girls survive the cold night? Moose, you're a smart man, staying cuddled up between the women to keep you warm. I'm 
There we go. There you go. You got any fresh laid eggs? Bada boom, bada bing. She's hiding two on us. Right, there we go. Thank you, ladies. Oh, that's nice and warm. And I don't have my thermometer on me. Maybe we can get back to the house quickly and see what the temp of that egg is. You ready to go in now, Pluto? Put the eggs in the rope so it doesn't slide around. This is the warm one. Let's see what the temp is. Ninety, and this one is sixty. <laughs> Look at my glasses. Yeah, it's cold out. So that one was laid probably, I don't know, within the last couple of minutes. Cooled off. I'm gonna say probably about 10 to 17 degrees. That's not bad. So I stopped the truck. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. The girls are upstairs getting ready for the day. I'm gonna run to the grocery store. We got a couple of fun things we wanna make. So I gotta get the ingredients for those. Oh, it almost didn't want to start. Oh, these cold mornings. Oh. Today we're going to attempt making homemade cheeses. Is that going to be fun? Yeah. I'm excited for it. So first we're using sharp cheddar and then Olivia. Look what I got. Bacon cheddar. Bacon cheddar. Why not try making bacon flavored cheeses? Mm -hmm. Be different, right? Mm -hmm. And then with a the leftover, what is it? Scraps. Scraps. I'm gonna want well, to try to bake that up, and then we can crush it and put it on our pork chops tonight, like a shake and bake. Like shake and bake, like our own homemade breadcrumbs, but with cheeses. Yeah. That's gonna be good. I don't know what I'm looking forward to more now. The pork chops covered in Cheez-Its or Cheez-Its? All of it. Bacon Cheez-Its. Bake. Oh, you want bacon Cheez-Its now? Yeah. Our friend over at Cabot Creamery, I've never seen it before, but they have bacon cheddar cheese. Earl, did you make this? That's what I want to know. <laughs> well, so first, we need a cup of flour. Put that in our food processor. Watch out, that'll cover you. Oh, hey. I got you. I said watch out. I warned you. Yeah, but I think you did it on purpose. I did. Gonna need eight ounces of shredded cheese. We're gonna do six ounces of shop cheddar. And then two ounces of mild cheddar, because that's what we got. That's the only reason. No. That is that is pink Himalayan salt. You want to add two pinches? Two pinches. Two pinches. Yep. Like my pinches? You can do four pinches because <laughs> we need two pinches of grown-up pinches. Four grown-up pinches. Well, maybe she's got big pinches. Nah. Then we need four tablespoons of so chopped on this. butter. Yeah. You thought I was drinking the ice water? Yeah, I was okay. No, we need it for our recipe. Oh. It calls for three tablespoons of ice water. Did you not find the top? I didn't look. No, I thought you did. I wanted to see if you get covered in flour. It would look good on video. Okay, we're gonna pulse it until it looks like sand. Like beach sand? I wouldn't mind being at a beach today. I've never heard you say that, ever. <laughs> I would like you to say that. <laughs> I just said it. Ready? Yes. Yeah. What's all that noise, huh? What's all the noise? What would you do? Okay. So do you all right, pulse it, Livies. Do I do it? Yep.
All right, so we'll stick this one in the refrigerator for an hour, and we'll work on making our bacon cheddar. Bacon cheddar. We'll stick that in the fridge. Yeah. You're not excited about the bacon cheddar, are you? Okay. Shaking the whole house. Alright, before you put that in, Louise, let's do this. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. What do you think you're doing? You got, it tastes like bacon. It tastes like bacon. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Is it gonna make good crackers? It tastes like bacon and cheese. Four pinches. You can't hit that button until we put the cover on. <laughs> <laughs> you no, would cover your no. mom. <laughs> no, go away. Uh, it would be not fun. I might laugh later, but not at the time. I wonder how high it would go if it'd get to the oh sail. And... How can you put your hair hard, Mike? That would make me. <laughs> Am I the cranker? Yep, I'm the catcher. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it does. Do it. There we go. Nope. It's falling, I can see it crumbling. I know where it is. Might be too dry for this. I'll do it a couple of times, see what happens. <clears throat> yeah, because you have to fold it back in and stuff. That's what we had to do with the Pringles, right? Yeah. They're handmade, so they don't gotta be a perfect size. They'll be authentic to Lumna Acres. Extra hole, extra big. question is, do we bake this batch when we make the next one? Yes. Do you think I should sprinkle a little salt on it? I think we could sprinkle a little bit of Himalayan what salt on it. What if we do it? a little... I really want to put egg on it. How many minutes? Try ten.
The bottom is perfect. They're not cooked inside all the way yet. Another minute or two. Oh, they're looking so good. Close, so close. Cheese it for. I shouldn't say that. I have. So if you have left a box of Cheez Its or Cheese Nips in your car in the summertime, they get warm. You're probably not going to do that. Um, it's good. I think I would try to make it thinner. Thinner? Yep. But very good. So they're not going to last. How about the baking one? Cheddar one? Because it'll have a little bit different. Mm hmm. Mm. Are you going to eat all those Cheez Its before we even bake up the other batch? <laughs> the good thing is, if you fill up on those Cheez-Its, I can eat the bacon Cheez-Its. No! <laughs> Smells good, don't it? Looks like you were playing Tetris over there. Yeah. It does. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Drop them on the floor. Whew. Another minute or so. Oh, it smells like bacon. They do smell like bacon, don't they? You can barely see the bacon. Right. Smell good. Ready? Yeah. Oh wait, they're not crunchy. Nope, they're not. They're more. These ones are airier. Is it because the holes there? Well, but they're cooked though. This one has. They are cooked. This It'd be kind fun. Of tastes like a good. Uh, uh, at the end, you get the taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the end, you get the taste of the bacon. I'd yeah. like to figure out how to get them so they're not puffy. puffy. I need more holes. So if you know how to get them so they're not, if you know how to get them so they're not so puffy, leave it in the comments down below. No, mom, look, this one had like a really big hole. 
and it must have really bad. But texture-wise, they're a little bit different. I don't know if it's to do with the bacon of these ones because there's more grease or if it's to do with the different cheese because this is cabot cheese and the other cheese was organic valley this is like it tastes like a breadstick it does taste like a breadstick and then at the end it tastes a very like good bacon. breadstick with bacon in it okay. better than cheese not too much salt oh yeah oh why well, that you got this bacon one. you like the bacon one Last time we made this recipe, everybody was asking for it. So I'm gonna have the recipe to this cheese spread in the description down below. One package of cream cheese. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. How long do we gotta let that chill for? It needs to chill for one to two hours, and then if you wanna form it into a ball, which can. we don't. One to two hours, then we can taste it and see how delicious it is. Right. Yes. I think we picked the right toys, guys. They're loving it. <laughs> Pluto, you staying in? You wanna go out to New York City? You wanna go outside, see the chickens? You gotta leave the toy. Going out to Figaro. Pluto wanted to go out to New York City. But she didn't want to leave the new toy in the house. Just like kids, they don't want to share. Got your ladies a treat. I hope you enjoy it. They don't know what to do with it. The cold, the weather we've been having the last few days has slowed up their egg production. I'm assuming they're using most of their energy to stay warm and not producing eggs, which I don't blame them. <laughs> Figaro is coming for you. You girls have got plenty of hay. You just want to come, wanted me to come out and say hi. You just want me to say hi. Look at all that hay. There's plenty of hay right there. Yeah. What are you doing, Blossom? What are you doing, Buttercup? Willow. How's your water situation looking? Your water's looking good. Wait all your hay from inside. Stay warm. Eat some hay. You want back in too? All right, show us the trick. Sit, sit. Give me five. Go boy. Good boy. You already know how to give fives? Give me a five. Tanner, give me five. Tanner. Give me five. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, you good boy. Yeah, you give five. Give five. Oh, good boy. Good boy. That was a big five. Pluto. High five. You know what did that before, did you? Tana's making you learn new tricks, Pluto. Sit, sit. 
No, no. This, no, no. Oh, this. No. Hey, she is that. good. No. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Better watch your eye. Now that the girls got their frustration out, I'm going to dredge the pork chops and egg Put in the bag. with some of our homemade cheeses. <clears throat> These are pork chops from the pigs we raised this past spring. So we know they're gonna be mighty tasty. That looked easy. Your heart wounded, forgot restores and brings hope and grace and truth in life. And I said, What would you do if you could? Your spaghetti squash looks good. Dinner's ready and Tanner is done tuckered out. So is Pluto. And so are you. We had a really good time making the homemade Cheez-Its. We've never done that before. When I was at the grocery store, I was looking around for different kinds of cheese and I stumbled across the bacon cheddar cheese that Cabot Creamery makes. Not a sponsor. <laughs> uh, I think that's funny, you gotta put that in every once in a while. But they came out really good. I'm glad I got the bacon cheddar ones. They're different, but they're really good. I don't think you could buy those in a store anywhere. It's always fun just messing around in the kitchen, trying something new out and seeing what you can create and just having fun with your family. I was writing an email the other day to somebody and at the end of the email I try to proofread them. I don't always proofread them but this one I was proofreading and I was proofreading it out loud in the last sentence like the sign off for it I was thanking the person I said thank you for being you and all that you do and I was saying it out loud and I went wow I don't know if I've ever said that to myself and it kind of felt good thanking myself for all that stuff so I guess the point of all that is have you ever said that to yourself? Have you ever sat down and thanked yourself for who you are, everything that you've done for you, for others, and the crazy uniqueness that makes you, you? That is something we all need to stop and appreciate. Sometimes, I know for myself, I always don't like my uniqueness, but that's what separates us from everybody else. We need to own that and be proud of it. Well, thanks guys for coming along on our journey with us. We really appreciate that you're here with us. You are a true blessing to our family. And one way or another, I hope someday, somehow, we can bless your family in return. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and 